Um, yung mga bitcoins po ba are tax-free? If kailangan ko umita ako, mahabol ba ako ng BIR or whatsoever? Alright, very good question. Uh, okay, when you uh, do crypto trading right now, there's a bot, there's actually a company that's already uh, uh, formally uh, issued a license by the BSP, which is coins.ph. In fact, mamaya, I will be with the, uh, one of the uh, heads uh, of coins.ph. I have a meeting with him by 6 p.m. today. The uh, uh, yung head of coins.ph. Coins.ph is a, an e-wallet where you can store your, your, your peso and convert it to Bitcoin. It's also a Bitcoin and Ethereum wallet, but it is regulated by the BSP. So, uh, in your, in your question is, uh, what do you call this? On the side of government regulations, right now, uh, there's a, a certain uh, group now trying to create the regulation body for this and uh, meeting with, uh, with, with SEC and DTI on a regular basis to compose ano ba yung magiging uh, stand talaga ng Philippine government. Kasi right now, hindi pa siya talaga firm sa bawat country ano yung magiging rules and regulations. So even each country has different rules. Alright? But uh, right now, uh, it is some, some basic guidelines uh, on this. Uh, now, eto, I don't wanna give kasi na sasabihin ko na walang tax or eh, hindi baka makote ako. But just let, let me just tell you that at here, it's a uh, Regulation is in the works, all right? But uh, to give a final word, uh, we were yet to hear from uh, SEC and BTI kung ano talaga yung magiging uh, final uh, rules and regulations pagdating dito. Eh, gano'n na po karaming mga Filipino ang gumagamit ng o merong bitcoins? Less, less than 1% of the whole population. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, sobrang konti pa. This is really like uh, a baby here. Pero nakakagulat kasi developing countries have embraced this. But what we see here is in the future, this will be something na magiging uh, in the next three to five years. So, you know, but ngayon kasi maraming benefits na pwede kang makuha if you study this early. Like sa trading na lang, sobrang laki na pwede ko. Potential. And this is, and also like right now, you'll be surprised. I don't know if you've Union Bank. Union Bank has now created their own blockchain. Now, bago na yan, nagmawa pa sila ng sarili ng blockchain technology to help uh, micro-entrepreneurs nationwide. Because, as I said, yung blockchain kasi is the, okay, para lang maintindihan na lahat. Yung cryptocurrency kasi, iba yun sa blockchain. Blockchain is the technology powering cryptocurrency. It has so many applications. I'll give you an example of blockchain. Remember I told you in blockchain, everything is recorded? Okay, one of the applications, for example, is, for example, uh, it can be used uh, for, let's say, uh, contracts. May tinatawag sa blockchain na smart contract. Ngayon kasi, kontrata na physical, binirmahan mo, pwede mawala. Tama? Then, pwede mo na i-deny. Ano kontrata pinag-usapan pinag natin? Kasi tradition, ipapanotarize natin yan. Tama? But in blockchain, contracts can now be signed uh, online. Alright, and once it's recorded on the blockchain, every day, it's for everybody's eyes and you cannot remove it. So, nandun siya, yun yung power nito. In fact, there's even companies, registering companies around the world using blockchain technology. Another example is, blockchain right now is now being used for uh, lottery. Uh, sa lottery kasi, pwede yung edit, tama? Pwede yung dayakin eh, pero in blockchain, yung random numbers na lalabas, you know, when blockchain technology is used, you cannot uh, man uh, manufacture the numbers and, you know, na piliin mo kung ano yung music sa gusto mo manahal or hindi siya kaya because of the transparency. And one of the biggest issues right now that uh, it's really being talked about is using blockchain for voting. Imagine pag ginamit na ang blockchain technology, lahat ng boboto, malalaman mo sino, anong oras, hindi na siya pwedeng dayain. So that would be something that, you know, uh, most countries would like to maybe uh, take a look at to make sure that the uh, elections are really transparent. So, marami. And uh, right now, we're still in the baby stage. And uh, just as I said earlier, our goal is to open the minds of maybe just make them aware that there's something like this. And at the end of rainbow, so the opportunities, you get to choose which part you would you would like to take. In my case, when I learned about blockchain, paano ko po siya nagamit sa negosyo ko? Because I own an online mall, what we're now doing is we're developing our own blockchain, Agape. The name of our blockchain is Agape, which will power successful.ph. We will become the first uh, 
blockchain powered marketplace or online mall in the Philippines. We will be uh, an online mall that will accept crypt cryptocurrencies as payments. So in Bitcoin, you can really buy it. Yun yung ginagawa namin. We're almost done with the technology. We're launching it within the year. So ako as a businessman, yan yung nakita ko na parang pag hindi ko pa ito pinag-aralan, eh, ang gusto ko, isa ako sa mga mag-spearhead ng, kay, ng uh, uh, blockchain revolution sa Philippines to stay ahead of technology. Alright? Kasi pag hindi ko pa ito pinag-aralan, eh, nakagulit ba? Even yun yung banks spent millions just to develop blockchain technology. Yung why bank ko na sila. And most banks, on the contrary, some are still thinking, is this for us or is this, is this uh, kalaban pa ito? Pero hindi eh, because this is technology, this is a powerful technology that can be used by every major company. So eh kayo, sa negosyo nyo, isipin nyo rin, saan ba ito magagamit? Alright? So I was able to answer your question. Yes. Um, last, my last question. Uh, do you know any celebrities who use bitcoins? Any celebrity so far from what I heard on uh, uh, on the well, I, I have a friend, uh, si Paolo Mijones, who's really a very very uh, uh, what do you call this uh, uh, a great uh, person already in the blockchain world here in the Philippines because he's uh, actually uh, in uh, what do you call this one of the uh, uh, marketing uh, officers of uh, of one coin, a local coin called Loyal Coin. All right. And he's also uh, doing, you know, partly uh, sharing. Pagpunta sa Facebook niya, he often gives tips on how blockchain will change uh, humanity. So he's one of the, uh, we wish to say, enthusiasts by the piece of technology. Level. Then there are a few others, of course, Pacquiao is into the space already, and uh, a couple of um, other minor actors. But right now, iba siguro, hindi pa nila sinasabi publicly, but I'm sure there are a lot of uh, uh, actors and actresses who are already. Uh, uh, you know, have Bitcoin. Okay, thank you. Sila yung alam ko lang na publicly alam ng lahat. Thank you.